Hello, and welcome to the online training module for Analog Switch Solutions here at Texas Instruments. My name is Dwight Bird, and I'm the product marketing engineer for these devices. We will provide you with two types of training through this course. The first is a technical training on what an analog switch is, and the second is a product training on what we at Texas Instruments have to offer for analog switch solutions. To start off, here's a rough agenda of what we will be covering. First, we'll get into analog switches, what is an analog switch, an example of where you can see this in an application, and the TI naming convention. Then we'll go into the different types of switches. We'll start off with a general purpose analog passive switch, then go into a more complex micro USB smart switch, followed up by our specialty switches, which are video, USB, LAN, and PCI Express. So in the first section, we cover analog switches. What is an analog switch? Example applications and the naming convention. So what is an analog switch? In an ideal switch, as shown in the picture above, whatever input is applied to the switch should appear at the output, or vice versa. But in real world, that is not true, and switches always have some losses. Today's competitive environment creates constant need for high performance. One common method to optimize system performance is to use FET switches. TI Signal Switch product family consists of digital, analog, and specialty switches to provide the high performance, low power replacement for standard bus interface devices when signal buffering is not required. TI also has smart switches with impedance detection micro USB switch to support the USB, UART, audio, and charger interfaces. These switches are used in applications like cell phones, notebooks, MID, and many more. Here are some of the applications that we have seen our analog signal switches go into. We have different applications such as the general purpose, audio, video, and interface solutions. Switches are used in most of the electronic devices like mobile, test, and measurement instruments, computing, communication, and consumer goods for routing the signals or to the interface between different components inside of a product. The naming convention for the TI part is very simple. The first two letters, TS, indicates that it, this is a TI signal switch. The V, shown in green, indicates the maximum operating voltage. The lowercase a in red indicates what type of switch it is. An uppercase a indicates it is an analog signal switch. L for LAN, V for video, USB for USB, DS for differential signaling, F for a feature type. And then next, we follow with a pound, which indicates the number of channels. The yellow for X's indicates what type of part number it is, and the next three P's in red indicate what specific package we are using. The lowercase r in blue represents the reel type. An uppercase R is for a large reel, and a lowercase t is for a tube of 250 pieces. Now that we have covered just the generics of signal switches, we will get into the different types of switches. To start off with, we are going to cover a general purpose audio signal switch. Here we show the TS5A3153. It is a single pole dual throw, or SBDT, analog switch that is designed to operate from 1.65 volts to 5.5 volts. The switch has a capability to mute the audio signal or select the speaker. The device offers a low on-state resistance and excellent on-state resistance matching with a break before make feature to prevent signal distortion during the transferring of a signal from one channel to another. The device has an excellent total harmonic distortion or THD performance and consumes very low power. Here, for an overview of general purpose analog switches, we show the availability in a wide range of voltages starting as low as 0.8 volts to as high as 40 volts. TI switches offer very low on resistance and input capacitance for decreased signal distortion and insertion loss. For example, the TS3A4XX and TS3A4 
2,4x series offers low voltage and low on-state resistance. The TS5A31, TS5A231, and TS5A46 series offers very low on-state resistance and a very wide operating range. The TS5A6 and TS5A26 series offers low on-state resistance, wide operating range, and high ESD with a control input voltage translation. The TS5A1, TS5A2, TS5A45 series offers low on capacitance, high bandwidth. The TS3A5 series offers low voltage, low on capacitance, and even higher bandwidth. Here we get into the general purpose configuration examples for our analog switches. TI has varieties of not only single pole, single throw switches with operating from 1.65 to 5.5 volts, but we also go up to four channels, single pole, single throw switches to show here. As you can see, we have multiple different devices that can accommodate any type of need. Now that we have covered the general purpose switches, let's take a look at our application specific switches. For the first application specific switches, we show the analog video switches, which are the TS3V and TS5V video switch series. These are designed specifically for customer audio and customer video switch applications. These high bandwidth switches are a very cost effective solution for splitting VGA, HDMI DVI, or LVDS video signals and offers ultra high bandwidth with excellent isolation at high frequencies. These switches have very low crosstalk minimal transmission noise, and optimal channel isolation. In addition, they carry low differential gain, phase gain, low channel to channel and bit to bit skew to improve the signal path synchronization and the ESD protection circuit to eliminate external ESD diskette components. Here, the TS3DV421 is a four channel differential, two to one multiplexer slash demultiplexer digital video switch controlled with one select input or SEL shown here. This switch has wide bandwidth of over 3.8 gigabits per second, low crosstalk of minus 50 dB, off isolation of minus 50 dB, low bit to bit skew of 0.1 nanosecond, and low on state resistance. Some of the applications of this switch are DVI HDMI signal switching, differential DVI, HDMI signal multiplexing for your audio and video receivers in high definition televisions. Here we show a micro USB smart switch known as the TSU5511. This smart switch is designed to interface the, with the cell phone UART, USB, and audio chips with external peripherals via a micro USB connector. The switch features impedance detection for identification of various accessories that are attached through the D plus and D minus of the micro USB port. When an accessory is plugged into the micro USB, the switch uses a detection mechanism to identify the accessory. It will then switch to the appropriate channel, either data, audio, or UART. The TSU5511 has an I squared C interface for communication with the cell phone baseband or application processor. An interrupt is generated when anything plugged into the micro USB is detected. Another interrupt is generated when the device is unplugged. Now moving on to USB switches, we highlight the TS3 USB 221. This is a high bandwidth switch specially designed for the switching of high speed USB 2.0 signals in handset and consumer applications such as cell phones, digital cameras, and notebooks with hubs or controllers with limited USB input outputs. The wide bandwidth of around 1.1 GHz of this switch allows signals to pass with minimal edge and phase distortion. The device multiplexes differential outputs from a USB host device to one of two corresponding outputs. The switch is bidirectional and offers little or no attenuation of the high speed signals at the outputs. It is designed for low bit-to-bit -bit skew and high channel-to-channel -channel noise isolation and is compatible with various standards such as high-speed USB 2.0 running at 480 megabits per second. 
Here for our variety of LAN switches devices, we highlight the TS3L501E. This is a 16-bit to 18-bit multiplexer or demultiplexer LAN switch with a single select or SEL input with a power down mode input. This device provides additional IOs for switching status indicating LED signals. The select input controls the data path of the multiplexer or demultiplexer. The power down input can put the device into the standby mode for minimizing current consumption per mode selection. It has very low input output capacitance, high bandwidth, low skew, and low crosstalk among channels, which makes this device suitable for various LAN applications, such as 10, 100, or 1000 base T. This device can be used to replace mechanical relays in LAN applications. The TS2 PCIe 2212 is an example of a PCI Express switch. This switch is designed to either route one PCIe data lines between two possible data destinations or two PCIe data lines to one destination. Each representing differential pair of receive and transmit signals can be routed through single PCB SKU and operates at a single processing bandwidth speed of two and a half gigabits per second. Thank you for listening to the online training module of the Analog Switch Solutions here at Texas Instruments. For more information on our latest analog switches, please visit www.ti.com switches.